All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at an alternative Office program, which is called LibreOffice. Now, this program is a little bit like OpenOffice, you know, the free uh, open source OpenOffice, which compares to Microsoft Office. But yeah, I think it's almost the same thing. It probably is the same thing, but let's go ahead and review it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, it has writer which is equivalent to word calc which is equivalent to excel impress power which is equivalent to powerpoint and all these other ones too base database is equivalent to uh microsoft access i believe i think it's access correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section but let's go ahead and take a look at the writer see how this looks well, it doesn't look too bad um it's got the option to center option to take align it to the left align it to the right Let's take a look at the fonts. Let's see what kind of fonts it has. Format. Usually go to format and font. Look in here better. Huh. It's got all the regular fonts that Word has too. Look at that. It's all they're all there. They're the same ones. That's good. So it, it is comparable to Word. Let's go to 96 in font, not just 72, like Word does. Wonder if it has a table. Hell yeah, it has a table function too. You can add a table. And this is free, by the way. You can get this program for free. I think it works just like uh, just like Microsoft Office. Look at this. This is awesome. Let's take a look at the print function. It's got print preview. You can do a print preview. Close preview. Let's take a look at print. You can select the printer that you want. You can select the pages you want page layout it's got everything that's pretty cool let's take a look at the other one now let's take a look at the Excel equivalent to this calc which is equivalent to Excel cool cool looks pretty it's the same almost we're just gonna test this out real quick now where's the merge where is merge merge and center right there whatever doesn't matter right there cool it's got merge and center just like Excel it's got formulas where you can write formulas it's even got custom fonts the print function works the same now then what about the color what is the color on here here it is font color and background color wow I'm impressed with this this is free by the way I'm impressed already can't do it the same color I am very very impressed boom that's awesome cool it looks like it looks like calc works just like Excel now let's take a look at the other one take a look at impress which is the same as PowerPoint present PowerPoint for presentations looks the same look at this seems like I'm using PowerPoint right now -na -na -na. insert slide tools gallery oh cool you could put you could put arrows and stuff on this can you do this in PowerPoint I think you can Correct me if I'm wrong, but can you do this on PowerPoint? Backgrounds. Oh, what happened to that background? Can you make it bigger? Okay. You can get a background and just make it as big as you want. Cool. What the heck happened to the text? Insert image. You can insert images also. Okay, table. There's the table. This is pretty cool. So it looks like you can do everything that you can do in uh, PowerPoint. I tried to start the slideshow, but it started in my other screen. I'm using two screens right now, and it actually did it on the other screen. That's not good. That, would, that means you guys can't see it. Cool. So it looks like uh, LibreOffice. Kind of, it kind of resembles uh, Open Office. I wonder if it's the same open source code. Let's let's take a look and see what um, what 
PC Mag had to say about it. They say open source Office Suite available for Windows, Mac also, and Linux. That's good. Powerful word processing spreadsheet opens virtually all legacy documents. The cons of it is that it's chunky, outdated design, less, less stable than commercial alternative, which uh, Word, I mean Office, Microsoft Office. No mobile versions. That's not good, man. You got to have mobile versions nowadays in this modernized world. Bottom line is that LibreOffice provides almost all the power of Microsoft Office, many features that Office doesn't provide, which we did see there. Uh, it's got stability problems, though. It's got an awkward interface, and lack of mobile versions may discourage potential users. I agree with that. But it's free, and uh, what else can you ask for? You know, that's free. That's awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I will always be uploading new videos, so subscribe so you can stay up to date. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.